Hi guys, in this video we are going to be testing the new liquid lipstick by Essence and this is the Stay 8 hour matte liquid lipstick. You can find this one in 9 shades and the cost for each one is $4.99. If you live in Europe you can find it for €2.99. I'm going to do lip swatches for all of them and also a full day wear test so we can see if they can actually last 8 hours. They also claim that these are quick drying and transfer proof. We're going to check that with the swatches. A lot of you wanted to see a review about this because I have also reviewed the previous version, this one here, the Color Boost Matte About Matte Liquid Lipstick. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in a comparison review of these liquid lipsticks. I can also do some side-by-side -side swatches so you can see the colors of all the lip products. You know, du -du -du. this product claims that it can last eight hours. It has a matte formula. All of the liquid lipsticks are cruelty free, and each one contains three milliliters of product. Share this video with a friend that likes liquid lipsticks or essence products. I really hope that this is one of the best drugstore liquid lipsticks. First of all, we're going to exfoliate the lips so we can remove the dead skin that we have. Liquid lipsticks can intensify any dryness that you have on your lips, so it is better to remove it so no one can notice that. I'm going to remove what I have now on my lips and it is this Bloom Baby Bloom Nectar Lip Gloss. It is by Essence in the shade Tulips on my lips. And then I'm taking this lip balm by Essence. It is the Fruit Kiss Caring Lip Balm with 10% almond oil and I have it in the shade 5 Pineapple Vibes. It doesn't have any color, it is just a clear lip balm but it has a very nice pineapple scent. I'm pressing the lip balm on my lips so it can go everywhere. I'm also pressing my lips together and after that I'm taking a piece of kitchen paper and I'm wiping away the lip balm and also any dead skin that I have with my foundation sponge that I have used before for my face makeup. I'm just pressing lightly to neutralize my lips and now it's time for the liquid lipsticks. I want to use the lightest I think it is this one here and it is the shade 1 yellow sunrise. I'm so excited. I wanted to film this video for a few weeks now but I had some issues with my editing program and as we can see we have a different applicator than the previous liquid lipstick by Essence. This one is long and flat also thin. Let's see how this dog foot applicator works. I'm going to clean the edges before it dries down. This color is adorable. It looks very nice. I really like it for every day for nighttime looks. It dries very fast. I'm so happy about that. The formula is very thin and lightweight. You can also clean the edges of the lips if you have made any mistakes because you have some time before it completely dries. My lips are completely matte. I think that this formula intensifies a little bit more the lines of the lips. This one has a very nice color payoff. It is completely transfer proof. That's amazing. Now that I'm pressing a little bit my lips, I can see that I have some spots that the color is removed. Maybe this is my mistake, so let's see what happens with the other colors. Moving on to the shade 2, Dark Face. This shade is a little bit pinkier and darker than the previous one. It is completely dry again and transfer proof. And this one is only with one swipe. I really like the coverage of this liquid lipstick. This one is very lightweight on the lips and I don't feel something. So that's very nice. I'm pressing a little bit of the lips to see if I have any transfer. And as I can see, I'm losing the color of the liquid lipstick. So I'm going to use just a little bit more to see if I can fix that. This shade also intensifies the lines of the lips a little bit more. Let's continue with the shade 5, Date Proof. Most probably it is. So let's see the color. About the scent, it has a very light, sweet chemical scent, but after you apply the product on the lips, you don't smell anything. This is such a pretty color. I really like it. This is a beautiful light mauve lip color. This can look fantastic for any complexion. Transfer proof as well. Let's take a closer look. And I think this one is a little bit smoother than the previous two shades. Maybe the formula is a little bit different for the lighter shades. I can't feel my lips. 
the struggles of the lip swatcher. I think I always say that in my lip swatches videos. Here we have the shade 3, Down to Earth, and this one is a very wearable peachy lip shade super pretty for everyday looks and this one takes a little bit more time to completely dry down and this is also with only one swipe i like that the doe foot applicator is absorbing enough product so you don't have to go back in the tube it is very easy to use this applicator by the way you can also outline the lips very easily because it's not very flexible or very sturdy also it has the perfect length because i have some liquid lipsticks that have very long applicators and it's not easy to apply the liquid lipstick with this one you don't have this issue so far i think this is my favorite color this is kiss proof as well the formula is not very drying but i think that it makes the lips look like they are drier but they are not because they can get in all of the fine lines of the lips and this one here is the shade 6 to be fair and this one has a darker mauveish lip color so i think that with this shade my lips are a little bit smoother kiss proof test passed the color is not transferring but i'm losing a little bit of the color on the lips and this is something that you're going to definitely do press your lips talk and afterwards we have the shade 7 let's chill for this color i think the formula is a little bit smoother it doesn't intensify so much the lines of my lips and i think i like it better and also with this color we don't have any transfer of the lipstick and we don't lose the intensity it is not flaky water break and as you can see i don't have any color transferring on the glass that's super nice moving on to the shade 4 mad about you let's see if i'm going to be mad about you as well this one needs a little bit more time to completely dry down i think it is a purple brown lip color what do you think let me know in the colors in the colors comments comments so i'm not mad about this color it looks very nice it is looking very soft on the lips and we have a nice opacity of color i'm going to apply just a little bit more here because it is a little bit flaky moving on to the shade 8 i dare you with this lip color it is a little bit more difficult to clean the edges with just a q-tip this one stains a little bit the skin if you want to correct your outline with darker lip colors it is always easier if you outline your lips with a lip pencil and after that use your lipstick or liquid lipstick i think this one looks very nice it has a royal deep red color and let's take a closer look Ooh, it's very pretty it looks softer than some other shades am i right this is also completely transfer proof however every time that i'm pressing my lips we can see that some of the color is transferring the previous lipstick stained a little bit my lips and let's continue with the shade 9 bite me if you can and we have here a dark cherry red color i'm also carving out the edges with some concealer so with this one we have a very nice color payoff and this is with only one swipe where is the lipstick okay i found it for this color my lips are not as drying as with some other lip shades it is transfer proof also this one is not flaky this one looks very soft on the lips it is a very dark lip color but it looks great so i'm going to keep this one for the wear test i'm very curious to see if it can last for a couple of hours hi guys it's been one hour and a half and i wanted to do a quick check-in for the liquid lipstick i'm coming closer i just had a lunch and i need to retouch the lipstick because i'm going to film an another video so i can look decent i don't know what happened but i have some color on my chin and it is very weird because i ate with my fork and knife it's not like i was eating a burrito i have lost some color in the inner part of both of my lips also in the outer corners it is faded and that's not a very good sign i mean it's only been one hour and a half and I was sitting very carefully so i want to show you how i'm going to retouch i'm just taking a tissue and i'm removing all the product from the chin 
and you can see that we had some lipstick here i'm going to apply a little bit of the foundation that i have used today for my face makeup this is the infallible 24 hour matte cover i'm going to just apply some with my fingertip and then with the sponge i'm blending it out and i think i also have some redness here maybe this also from all the lip swatches i have removed eight lipsticks today very carefully i'm just pressing my sponge close to the lipstick now i'm gonna set it with this powder here this is the born this way ethereal setting powder by Too faced i'm just setting the foundation on the new layer and now i'm taking the liquid lipstick that i have on my lips and i will try to reapply some and see if we can actually retouch so i'm trying to take off the excess product so i don't use a lot and you can see that the color faded i ended up reapplying all over the lips because the color faded and this is how it looks like new hi okay, guys it's been three more hours and let's see what happened with the liquid lipstick so oh my god what happened i have color on the on the bottom part of my nose and on my chin again also i have lost a lot of color on the inner part which is fine that happens with a lot of liquid lipsticks i'm okay with that but we also lost color on the lid it looks like i have a lot of texture on my lips in these three hours i have filmed one more video the look fantastic beauty box of july also i was drinking a little bit of water as you can see i don't have color on the glass so what i liked about this formula is that we had a very nice opacity even for the darker shades i also like a lot of the doe foot applicator of this product the color boost mad about matte liquid lipstick is one of my favorites from the drugstore also one of my favorite products by essence so i'm very sad that i don't like this one let me know in the comments if you have found a way to use this and make it look smooth on your lips because you never know maybe i did something wrong and also tell me what is your favorite lip shade of today's video for me is this one here the shade 3 down to earth you can also find here my review for the color boost mad about matte liquid lipsticks if you like this one please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and i will see you in the next one bye